prayer. Amen. Let them know how much you need them tonight. Let them know how much you care. Thank you, Lord. For he cares for you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. He loves you. Worship him. Thank you, Jesus. Praise him. Love on him. Jesus. Present yourself. Thank you, God. Before him. Hallelujah. Present yourself. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Before him. And thank you, Lord. In heaven and say, Lord, here I am. Front and center. Thursday night service to worship. To worship you. Thank you.
glory land way. Get him to heaven, yes, of course. But reach out to a lost and dying world and then let them know about Jesus yes. Christ. Let them know about the joy you receive, yes. the care you receive, yes. the peace you receive, yes. the deliverance you receive yes. from sin. And Thank today, you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. you came. But it came to pass that when somebody heard that we built the wall, he was wrong. And took great indignation and mocked the Jews. And he spake before his brethren and the army of Samaria and said, What do these feeble Jews? Will they fortify themselves? Will they sacrifice? Will they make an end in the day? Will they revive the stone out of the heap of the rubbish which are burned? Not to buy the Ammonite was by him, and he said, Even that which they build, if a fox go up, it shall even break down their stone wall. Hear, O Lord, hear, O our God. For we are despised and turn the reproach upon their own head and give them for a prey in the land of captivity and cover not their iniquity and let not their sin be blotted out from before thee. For they have provoked thee to anger before the builders. So build we the wall. And all the wall was joined together unto the head thereof. For the people have a mind to work. So build we the wall. And all the wall was joined together unto the half thereof. For the people had a mind to work. Tonight we want to speak on the thought building the kingdom of God. Building the kingdom of God. Let me find I know the call goes out to every Christian. Work your heavenly Father to do your work. To do your will, Father. That the message is free, Father. Put more in our heart of what we can do for your work and your will, Father. Look to you tonight in this service. Have your way with our brother and our you. Lift that lift of clay unto the presence of every word. Christ in the name of Building the kingdom of God. As we look at Nehemiah, here was a man that was the king of him. Here he is, he lived, lived there in luxury in the winter palace of the Persian king. We see Nehemiah's heart was keenly sensitive to all that affect his people. 
Though he was in luxury, he still had a concern for his people. He wanted to know what happened to the Jews that escaped, which was left of the captivity and concerning Jerusalem. And he asked certain ones from Judea, and he asked them concerning the Jews. And they said unto him, he said, the remnant that are left of the captivity there in the province, province are in great affliction. They're distressed and reproach. The walls of Jerusalem also is broken down, and the gates thereof are burnt with fire. As the might have heard these words, he set out and wept. And mourned for certain days, fasted and prayed to God on behalf of his people. Here was this man, heart was broken after hearing about his people. He turned from tears and he began to seek God. And, and from man to God, he just began to spend time before God on behalf of his people. And God moved upon the old mind, put in his heart the desire to go and to rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. And as he came before the king, and the king saw the countenance of Nehemiah, how that his countenance was sad, and never before has Nehemiah appeared before the king with a sad countenance. And the king began to inquire, why is that countenance so sad? And he answered, the city, the place of my father's sepulchres lies in waste, and the gates thereof are consumed with fire. And he made a request to the king. And the king was pleased with his request. How they requested of the king to go and rebuild the wall of Jerusalem. And no doubt they might begin to share this, this desire with other brethren there, right? With other those that, that he no doubt fellowship with. Uh, and how that it be bad, this burden to go uh, and rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. I believe many of them heard to hear them when he said that probably George got right on the, the band and said, you know what, Nehemiah, count me in. Count me in. I, I want to be a part of what you're about to do. I, I want to be a part of the work of God. Yes. That God being did. I want to go yes. and share that burden yes. that you yes. have. Yes. Not only is your burden, but it's also as we share that same burden. Yes. And we, we appreciate you that you began to go before the king with the petition that we now can go yeah. and rebuild the walls. They realized they were going to face opposition. They realized that this task was not going to be an easy task. But these men who had made up their mind that we're willing to go and we're willing to do this great work for the Lord, we're really we willing to unify ourselves, to get unified and go out to do this work. They realize that as we go forth, each person had to be actively involved. Yes. Each member had to have that mindset that we're doing the work for God yes. and we got to go forward and we got to stick to it. Though they realize, yes, though the opposition may come our way, there will be opposition, there's going to be ridicule. We may no doubt get mocked and made fun of and laughed at, uh, and oh, and even though our lives may be threatened, uh, we got to continue to labor for God, uh, keep our eyes focused on the task, uh, and not let the enemy cause us uh, to cease from doing what God would help us to do. And we know the enemy is always out to try to hinder. He's always out trying to stop us from accomplishing uh, what God wants us to do. Uh, but we got to make it in our mind like these men made it in their mind. Uh, I want to be a part of the team. Uh, I yes. want to be a part of the work of God. Uh, yes. I want to get out there and do a work with yes. God. Uh, and I'm not going to let nothing uh, deter me, uh, to cause me to cease uh, from doing what God wants me to do. None of these men allow these circumstances, these conditions, uh, to deter them uh, from standing up uh, and doing what God wanted them to do. Did not discourage them. 
did not restrain them from acting and proceeding forward uh, in what God had called them to do. We have that same made of mind. Uh, mm -hmm. When God calls us, he has called us uh, to do a great work. Uh, we got to begin to proceed uh, and, and with action, uh, and not letting the circumstances, not letting pre predicaments that we face, uh, situations that we face, uh, hinder us from doing mm -hmm. what God has called us to do. You see, so many people have allowed the wrong man team that hindered them from moving forward. And no doubt fear has sunk in and they have that fear of going out and, and coming together and worshiping God. And, but you know, I, I think about uh, if God can keep the three Hebrew boys from being consumed in that fire furnace, uh, I believe God can protect us uh, when we come together and worship Him. I believe God can protect us and, and those that are just having that fear. Uh, and I'm not saying that that, that, it's, that you're wrong for having that fear, but you know, we can come together and know that God can protect us, and if we just put our faith and trust in Him, He's able to keep us during this trying time. But we see that these men did not stop, they continued on to the point we see the walls was finished. Yeah. They finished the wall. Yeah. yeah. In 52 days. Yeah. They completed that wall. Yeah. And tonight, as we begin to look at this account, uh, it's encouraging to know uh, that as we begin to come together uh, with one mind uh, and begin to sound good uh, to build the key and join the team, uh, building the kingdom of God, uh, one soul at a time, uh, to reach a lost and dying world for Jesus. Joining God's seed, we're going to build for the kingdom of God. We have to join God's seed tonight. We got to get on a team that is unified. A team God is will bring together and cause us to triumph upon our enemy. And tonight I want to extend that invitation. Invite you to come and join God's team. A group of people that is unified. And people tonight that has come together as a single unit to accomplish a common goal. Joining God's team, building the kingdom of God. This group of people who got a made of mind that I'm going to stick together in times of adversity. Or oh, how often do you see old oh, things and things get going tough and things are getting rough. Uh, many people that are not really uh, in the part of the team, you see them falling by the wayside. But you see those uh, who got that made of mind uh, and say, I'm going to get rooted and grounded uh, yes. and on the team of God uh, when adversity comes, uh, when times are missed. Or she comes my way uh, with calamity or distress. Uh, come my way. Uh, yes. I'm going to continue uh, doing what God has called Amen. me to do. Yes. Yes. We're dealing with the word crowd of being involved in sin. He's doing these signs with friends, or should I say so called friends, with show in yes. true colors. When you begin to go through things, and you have friends of the world, and when times get hard, and you're struggling, and, and you look to them for help, and you, you look to them to lean upon, and many times you're not there. You're not there sticking with you by your side. But tonight, as we begin to join God's team, you're going to find a group of people that will be right there, will stick close to you. They will not let you down in adverse times. God seed throughout the word about someone on his team just stabbing you in the back. Oh, when you're really a part of God's seed and you love God with all your heart and you've been born again of the Spirit of God, you have the Spirit of God living in you. You won't go around trying to tear your brother down. You won't stab him in the back. You realize we're working together as a team to build the kingdom of God, yes. to reach this lost and yes. dying world. Amen. I believe there are many tonight listening to me. And here in this building tonight, uh, they have joined God's team. They have joined the team. Uh, and they are, they're fighting that good fight of faith. Uh, they're determined uh, to get the job done. Uh, they see the task at hand. Uh, and they say, I'm going to continue to work uh, until the job is complete. Uh, until the job is Amen. finished. Uh, I'm going to work to the end. Amen. Not only determined. I don't know if determined. 
כן עושה את זה. They're going to stay on their job, and no matter what comes their way, no matter what uh, battles they have to face, uh, they will be of their mindset, I refuse uh, to quit. Uh, I refuse to give up. Uh, I refuse to throw in the towel. Uh, I'm going right. to continue to be of their mindset. Uh, and I realize uh, I'm beginning to count the cost uh, when I join the team. Uh, I realize that there are going to be opposition. Uh, I realize that there was an enemy out there that was going to fight me uh, to the nail uh, that's trying to get me to quit, uh, trying to get me to give up. Uh, but I determined tonight uh, that I refuse to quit. Yeah. I refuse to give up. I refuse to throw in the towel. Yeah. You got to have the mind set that we're going to continue to fight. Fight that good fight of faith until we finish our course. To the job is finished and it's like, oh, we got to be men and women ready, uh, prepared for battle. Uh, oh, when you join God's team, we got to be prepared. Uh, these men with Nehemiah, they was prepared for battle. Uh, they knew whatever it took to get this job done. Uh, we were going to be prepared for it. Uh, and as you begin to labor for God, uh, as you begin to work for God, uh, we got to begin to go uh, prepared, ready uh, for battle. Ready, prepared to fight off any opposing forces that tries to hinder the work of the Lord. Not only that, we have to stay active. Yes. Stay actively involved. Oh, don't let the enemy rob you of coming together and being involved in the program of God. Oh, he would like nothing more than just see us just sitting, staying away from the church house, staying away from the brethren, staying away from fellowship. Oh, he would just like to keep us all alone out there, thinking that, oh, we're just, we're not, we're not going to make it. We can't go on. We can't do what God needs us to do. We can tonight. We stay active and involved. He said these men with their bodies stay active and involved. They, they was determined. They realized we're going to do this. Uh, your mind, if we're going to do this thing, we got to unite. We got to come together. We got to be a one mindset. Uh, and no matter what it takes, we're going to continue to stay focused uh, on what God has called us to do. Having that willingness. As we join God's sin, we've got to have a willingness to serve others. Yeah. Giving of our time. Yeah. Giving of our support. Yeah. Oh, being willing to sacrifice our life uh, to help someone else uh, with no strings attached. we got to be willing yeah. uh, to be yeah. uh, and stay in the fight. Yeah. Uh, realize yeah. we're working, we're laboring. Uh, we're trying to build the kingdom of God uh, one soul at a time. Let them see. They don't have to continue down that broad path. Oh, into corruption, to destruction. But there's a hope in God. There's a better way. And truly tonight, God has called us to point them in the right direction. To point them toward Jesus Christ. Being that that mind said, have a mind to work. We're going to be a, be a part of God's team, build this, this kingdom of God. We got to have a mind to work. We can't be afraid to get our hands dirty. We can't be afraid to get in and get in there and begin to work and labor and get our hands dirty, reaching souls for Christ. Putting our flesh, our body under subduction, knowing that there will be times of this flesh that it's not going to want to do. It's not going to want to go. It's just not going to want to be what God wanted to be. But oh, we got to tell this flesh whether you like it or not, flesh. You're going to get up. You're going to get out there. You're going to work. You're going to labor until God's kingdom is built. You're not going to give up. You're not going to lay around and be lazy. You're going to do what God needs you to do. Bringing our bodies under subjection. Having that want, want to be a part, want to be a part 
yes. of God's program. Huh? You gotta have a one to huh? you. Know, nobody's gonna, this thing is not something that, oh, it's gonna just fall in your lap and you one day gonna wake up and, and you just gonna want to do it all this stuff from God. Oh, you gotta really just get in and let God do a work in your life. Huh? Let God clean you up from the inside out. Huh? Allow him to put in you his spirit, huh? fill you with the Holy Ghost, huh? for you are having a desire to go and be a witness for him. Yes. Mm -hmm. I even messed this by right building the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. Join and God's seat tonight. Stay in that to be involved. Have that mind to work. Oh, if you really want to be a part of God's team, it all starts with you tonight. It starts with you coming to God and it says, God, I want to be a part. God, I want to get in. I need you to come into my heart and my life. I need you to save me, God. I need you to fill me with your Holy Spirit. God, I need you to work on me and mold me and shame me and make me what you need me to be. The question each individual should ask themselves. How can I make an everlasting impact in the city where I'm laboring? How can I make an everlasting impact in the city where I'm laboring? Surely tonight, you may look at yourself, well, who am I if I make an impact? Oh, I'm just a little, I'm just a nobody. Nobody's going to listen to me. You just don't know what you're capable of when you put your life in the hand of God. That's you right. just don't know what God can do through you. If you just surrender your life, you don't know the people whom you can impact, how your life will affect them. If you just surrender to God, God has a work for each and every one of us. God has a purpose for each and every one. Yes. We gotta just yield to God. I said, God, here am I. Yeah. Whatever it is you have for me, God, I'm willing to do it. God, I'm not. I'm not gonna look to the left. I'm not gonna look to the right. I'm not looking back, God. I'm not gonna try to figure it out. I'm not gonna sit here and say, God, I don't understand. You may not understand it all, but oh, as God lead you, as God direct you, just continue to say yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes to your will, Lord. Yes to your way, Lord. God, I don't understand it all, but God just want to be in your Part of your team, building your kingdom. Is there anything too hard to get tonight? Oh, as you look at your life, oh, ask yourself, is there anything too hard to get? As you began to search your heart, as God deals with you, oh, as the enemy trying to talk to you and tell you, oh, don't listen to him, don't listen to that, oh, you don't have to listen, oh, God doesn't want you to serve him, God don't want you to be a witness for him, God don't need you, but listen, God loves you, and God wants you to be a part of his team, God wants you to join his team tonight and labor for him, and when you do so, God will begin to open the very windows of heaven, God will begin to rain blessings upon your life, and yes. you'll begin to see God move in ways yes. that you never had imagined. With Jesus, God, all things are possible. Jesus said unto him, If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. Tonight, God wants to touch your life. God is looking down tonight. He sees each and every one of us. He see our hearts crying out for help. He see our lives. He see our life on a path. And that he wants to begin to change his direction. We may be on the wrong path. And God says, you know what? I can change that path. I can make your life much better. You're on a path, and you're just wandering to and fro, and you don't have no direction whatsoever, and you don't know which way to turn, but God said, I have the answer. I have the answer tonight. God has said tonight, join the team. Become a part of this team tonight. We're here about tonight. God is calling your name. He's calling you by name tonight. You know God has been dealing with you wherever you may be tonight. Listen to this message. You know God is tugging at your heart. God is dealing with you right now. He's saying, join my team. He's, he's reaching out and saying, it's time that you get busy, get active, get involved. Labor for God. God wants you to become a part of a 
great move of God. God's coming back one day for his people. He wants to be the guy you work in. He wants to find you laboring for him. He wants to find you in, in, in his field of laboring and, and reaching out and touching lives. And God said tonight, if you'll just come to me, if you'll make your way to an old-fashioned altar of prayer and begin to surrender your life, he says, I'll come in and I'll sup with you. I'll, I'll go with you. I'll fellowship with you. I'll make you. Choice. Choice is like God is calling. When you say yes, when you say yes, join his team. Oh, me on the wrong side of the fence tonight. There are many are still out there working labor for the devil, fighting a losing cause. But tonight, if you want to fight a winning cause, come and join God's team. Come and join God's team tonight. Let us find a place to pray tonight. Pray and see God. Enjoy his team tonight. He's waiting. He's waiting for you to come.
in the house of the Lord tonight. And we are uh, speaking about Sunday morning service. Uh, what you can get out of that next, amen. From service to service. Faith to faith. Amen. Message to message. Bible study to Bible study. Prayer meeting to prayer meeting. Go on in this life with Jesus. And I'll uh, hear it um, at Tim Miller Road or Facebook Live or uh, YouTube, 11 a.m. Sunday morning. Tuesday night Bible study.